Welcome back to Some Offense Intended. I'm Jeremy Robinson. I'm Mike Mick. Uh, <laughs> so I went to Total Wine to see if I could find uh, the Wasatch Pumpkin Beer that we keep talking about. And today is the 27th. So we, again, forgot to tell people, like, Happy Thanksgiving on the episode that comes out before yeah, that. I thought about that when I was in uh, Burnley. Yeah, I thought about it because in Oklahoma, I'm like, that. oh, yep, oops. Yeah. Um. We need to, that needs to be in our notes is when holidays yeah, are. Yeah, we'll just like have <laughs> have something on the TV. Yeah. Like this episode will release <laughs> on this day. Or we could just be the show that doesn't give a shit about holidays. I mean, there's that too. Yeah. Um, except for Fourth of July and people blowing their fucking hands off. Yeah, no, that one, that one's important. Yeah. So if you have any videos of people blowing their hands off, go ahead and send it to us and we'll, we'll talk about it. Um, so yeah, so I went to Total Wine to see if they had Wasatch Pumpkin and... Again, just like at Lee's, they looked at me like I had no idea what I was talking about. And they're like, "What is what is that? I've never heard of it." Like, it's a it's a brewery, like it's a brewing company from Utah. And like, oh, it's in Wasatch, Utah. Utah. Yeah. So it's like it's either like Wasatch or Wasatch. Like, there's it's one of the potato potato things. I know there's gonna just like Nevada, Nevada. There's a correct way and there's an incorrect way. It's Nevada. And I don't I don't know which one is which which for. Wasatch or Wasatch. Wasatch or yeah, whatever. Yeah. It's, it's uh like I said, it's a place in Utah that's <clears throat> named after. Yeah. It's, it's called Wasatch. So, and I told, I told the guy, I'm like, it's, it's one of the two pronunciations. He goes, do you know how to spell it or, or no? I'm like, yeah, I know how to spell it. It's one of those, like, depending on where you're from pronunciations, like that's the different. Oh, okay. So he looks it up on his little fucking like fake phone tells on thing that he has. Yeah. And it pulls up several different of the beers and they don't have any. A total one. Zero. That's crazy. And he's like, so because it's almost the end of November, he goes, we're like solidly out of the, the fall flavors and like very like several weeks into the winter flavors of, of beer. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I appreciate it. So on the way out, I found uh, rum chata pumpkin spice. So I figured if we can't have fucking pumpkin beer, well, maybe pumpkin. We'll, we'll fucking try something that's pumpkin-y. So we got Mike one hiding over there on his other side of Dr. Pepper. You drink it now or in a minute? We can drink it now. All right. Either or. Um, I haven't I haven't opened up the Dr. Pepper yet. <laughs> That's it's rum chata. I don't think you're gonna need a chaser. Well, no, I'm I'm not thinking that. Oh, all. okay. I don't need a chaser for tequila. Why would I need it oh, for rum chata? It's pumpkiny as fuck. That's good. Yeah. That's what I want. <laughs> Cheers. That is very good. It has a the weird spiced rum back end. Yeah. I think uh ice would have made it a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit. I mean it's for a shot we have half a cube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could split a cube. I'm not splitting a fucking ice cube. <laughs> I get a quarter ounce of crushed ice and just eat. put it in the cup. Um, but no, that was, that was surprisingly good. I didn't think it was going to be disgusting, but didn't think it was going to be very good. Well, like I told you, though, I did find something new at the store today I had not seen before. Uh, Reese's. Reese's peanut butter with caramel. That, so... I know, it's a weird like caramel caramel because I used to call it was grown up it was caramel yeah uh, it's pop not soda and it's caramel not caramel of like when I was growing up and then like learning anything grown I'm like okay well there's definitely another A there so it probably should be caramel that's why that's why I started calling it caramel and I don't know what it depends on like it'll flip back and forth like sometimes it might be like who I'm talking to so if I say if I'm talking about an apple, I'll probably say caramel apple. I don't know. Sometimes I'll say caramel apple, but just have yeah, there's it. just too many A's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I seen something that was like a Reese's snack cake too at grocery outlet. Oh, I've had that. It looked pretty good. It is pretty good. But I seen, I saw it like on my way out, and I'm like, I'm not turning around. They have a Mrs. Freshly's, um, Reese's little cupcake thing. It's huh. Yeah, I've had it a few times. I might have to go back. Um, 
so there's a new thing because I flew to Oklahoma and I didn't miss my any of the connecting flights, which is a bonus from like the three or four years ago. Yeah. When that happened. Did you watch the Sooners while you were there? No. Oh, right. Then you were a Cowboys fan. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> How dare you? Um, but no, there's so there's a new thing that they they talk about like when you're on a plane, and you're they're like, okay, put everything in airplane mode. There's something new that they added to that whole speech, or yeah. or maybe at least just for American Airlines. It says airplane mode on small devices, large devices powered off, or keyboard detached. So, like you can. You can use the tablet or whatever, as long as the keyboard's not attached. That's weird. I've never heard of that before. Were they afraid that I'm going to fucking hack the plane during takeoff? Like, and as soon as you take off, you can reattach the keyboard. Like, what the fuck Actually, does that I, have to do with anything? I have no idea. Keyboard detached. Like, not folded around. Or, like, some of the, what do they call them? Like, the yoga laptops or the convertible laptops? You just <laughs> swivel the screen and snap it down. That's not detached, so you can't use it. It's still attached. That's weird. I've yeah. never heard of that. So, I mean, like, if you have a laptop you're co- that's connected, it doesn't come off. Yeah, no, but that's so for, t- for takeoff. Yeah. It either has to be powered off or the keyboard detached. If the keyboard doesn't detach, power it off. Yeah. But I just thought that was super strange. Yeah. Like, detach the keyboard for me. Why? Just have the people turn it off. Oh, I have to. Well, just... one, I don't know if they know this. Almost nobody puts shit in airplane mode. Almost nobody. There was a guy that was sitting next to me on the flight to Phoenix. Because I connected from Reno, Phoenix to Oklahoma City. And this guy was on a phone call until we were like halfway down the runway to take off. And that's when he hung up. Like, nobody does airplane mode and then on the way back they were like and if you have a smart watch go ahead and put that in airplane mode too no like I've, if if, I, it, if if the watch doesn't fucking tie into the same airplane mode as my phone i'm not doing a second one yeah like i know because all well, the watches phone, all the watches, watches i have are, yeah all the watches i have are wi-fi so it doesn't fucking matter anyway yeah but it should be linked to your phone is it not yeah so if you put your phone on airplane mode Shouldn't it just piggyback that fucking idea? Well, the thing about this is it's supposed to be able to, you can leave your phone someplace yeah, and still be able to use it on data. Yeah. And then, like, because it's got its own SIM card and you can call just from your watch and it's not attached. But still, like, if it's, yeah. if it's fucking connected, hey, this just got put in airplane mode. Maybe you should do it yourself. I can't remember if I put my watch on airplane mode last time I had it. On a, on a flight, uh, I do not. I almost never take my watch on vacations though, because if it lasts like two or three days, and then it's like, well, I'm not bringing the charger, because I just bring a backpack. I'm not taking extra bags. I'm not doing anything. So I'm like, I don't, I don't care. Well, I've got one power block that has the power cord for my phone and my my watch, so I bring that when I go places, because I always have my watch. Mm-hmm. But it lasts quite a while. Like I I uh, charged it on Thursday, and uh, it alerted me today that it was running low on charge. And even today, it was at fifteen percent. I could have made it the whole day with the fifteen percent. Wow. Yeah, mine like one day of work, it'll be at like seventy five percent. I'll throw it back on the charger at night. Yeah. So you know when I when I had my Apple Watch, I'd plug that in. If I forgot to, to charge it overnight, the next day it wasn't going to make it the whole day. Just, <laughs> like there was one time I was working overtime and I was driving to work, not thinking about it, and I get a notification telling me, down to 10%. Like, well, I guess I'm leaving in the car. I'm like, that's not going to last long. <laughs> yeah, that didn't make it very long at all. Um, so another thing I found interesting, well, I don't know, if have you ever been to the Dallas-Fort Worth airport? No. It is fucking massive yeah i've heard massive yeah so like the b terminal where i landed so coming back i went oklahoma city to dallas fort worth to reno and we landed at like b43 
and then it walks around like this whole like crescent shape. It goes all the way from like B48 down to B B1. And then every eight eight to ten gates, there's like a, a stairway up or an elevator up to go to like a tram service that takes you to A, B, C, D, or E. Yeah. Terminals. Like that's and I think all of those have the same number of gates. Like that's a fucking oh, lot of gates, bro. Like and um, it it took me I don't know, like three to five minutes. Like it might have been like half a mile. See now I've had a different uh experience. I've flown from from Vegas to Sacramento and uh the Sacramento airport after you get out of the Vegas airport looks so small. Just tiny. Oh, it's the Reno airport. Dinky. Yeah. The Sac airport about the same as Reno? Yeah. Yeah. But then, um, like, I've also flown through Denver. Denver's huge. Denver's pretty big. Um, And it looks like a mall when you're in there. Because you got, like, a terminal, and then there's a sunglass hut. Yeah. And then there's another store after that. It's just... Yeah, no, Dallas... Their food court, wow, their food court was good. Dallas is massive. They had... I had a... Uh, I had an espresso affogato in Denver. It was delicious. Espresso I've... over vanilla ice cream. Okay. Amazing. I appreciate you explaining that. <laughs> I, you had a look of, I want to know what that is. Um, but like, if you go to um, Starbucks and you order a frap, um, avocado style, they add espresso to your, on the top of your frap. Oh. And that's really good too. Like if I get a caramel one, I get the espresso on the top and then it cuts the, uh, the sweetness. It makes it a little less sweet and it makes it delicious. But I, 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 the whole reason I even tried that at Starbucks is because I went in for my free birthday one one day, and the person's like, you know what? You should do it like this since it's free. <laughs> I'm like, that's a good choice. Yeah, because an extra espresso shot's like $4. So, but now I just want it all the time, so I probably shouldn't have tried it. <laughs> but, uh, so what I was bringing up the Dallas-Fort Worth airport is I, I thought I was going to have to spend around 6 to 10 hours in the airport on the way back because on the way to Oklahoma City, we didn't plan it like this, but – I flew from Reno. My dad and little sister flew both flew from Vegas, but they had different flights. We all got to Oklahoma City within like 40 minutes of each other on accident. Nice. So like that was super convenient, fucking great. And on the way back, I was like I don't know exactly what time the flights are, so I just got the latest flight in the day to go back. So my flight was supposed to leave Oklahoma City at 8:30 to Dallas. And then leave Dallas at 1030 and I'd get back to Reno at like midnight. So we got to the airport because my dad's flight was at like 1145 or like, I think it started boarding at like 1215. So we got to the Oklahoma city airport at like 11 and my dad's like, so what time's your flight? And I'm like, that's at 830. He goes, is there no other flights from here to Dallas? And like, so you can catch an earlier flight. I'm like, I don't think you can do that. He goes, yeah, just go talk to him and get put on the standby list. I'm like, I don't, I've never done that before. So I go find the next gate that the, it's about to board in like 20 minutes. Huh. And I'm like, Hey, like my first flight's at eight 30. Like my dad's flight is now. So if not, if the answer is no, I guess I'm just going to sit in the airport for eight hours, but can you put me on a standby list? So if there are seats, I can catch an earlier flight. I'm like, yeah, sure. So I got, an earlier flight for that one and then get to Dallas Fort Worth and then do the same thing again there and got, got that standby also. So like that was, I didn't know that was an option. That's fucking. Yeah. I've never heard of great. That. Well, I mean, I've never had to because I don't, I show up to the airport like an hour before my flight. I'm, I don't normally show up eight hours before. Yeah. Well, I try not to. Yeah. But so that's, if nobody knew that there's an option. Um, but, when I was doing, because that's we started doing all the video uploading, and that's we'll talk about that next. Uh, but that's why I brought my tablet with me, so I could do a lot of the the social media sharing and scheduling and stuff. And the hotel Wi-Fi was fairly slow. Yeah, not surprising because it's just here's Wi-Fi. Um, the Wi-Fi at I don't think I set it up at the Oklahoma City Airport. The Wi-Fi at Dallas Fort Worth 
was like 150 megabytes down and like 100 up. Like stupid fast internet. That's crazy. For an airport. Yeah. Of Here's, here's Wi-Fi. Everybody use it. Yeah, and you've got a lot of people using it. Yeah, and how big that airport is, I don't want to see their internet bill. No. 150 I've... down, 100 up. I don't even think I have 100 up on... Right, let's check it right now. Um, that's a happy moment, though. Oh, yeah. that's Because it, it started uploading the uh, the video, and it uploaded it super quick. I'm like, I don't know if it uploaded it. I'm like, let me go to speed test. So I run a speed test, and it told me that. I'm like, Holy shit. Like, I definitely was not expecting that at an airport. So I'm going to run it in Microsoft Edge so that Chrome doesn't get unhappy about it and cause issues with the recording. So I pay for a fucking gig. And that is not a gig. No. That's 180 170 down. This is also on Wi-Fi, so this computer's not the best fucking connection either. But my up is like that, 20. It might get to 35. It's trying. Yeah, the up looks like it's maxing out at 30. So I had three times the fucking upload speed at an airport. And that you weren't paying for. Yeah. Yeah, speed test just... Thank you for helping us reach 50 billion speed test results. Do I win a million dollars? You're number 50 billion. What do you win? Yeah. <clears throat> See, if I did it the, I, and I got that, it'd be like, well, I didn't really help because this, you've already hit 50 billion and I've never used this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like that's, I don't know, I was super impressed by that. And that, speaking of internet, I went to, uh, went to Costco and talked to the AT&T people again. I was like, hey, he's like, do you, uh, I'm like, yeah, I would love to have fiber. I'm like, I doubt you guys have it in my address though. He's like, okay, we'll check. And he checked and he's like, oh, just so you know, like when's the last time you checked? I'm like two or three weeks ago. He's like, oh, like they always get like such big, like, oh, I'm going to get somebody. Like, I would love for you to sign me up. However, there are no, there is no AT&T fiber in my neighborhood at all. So get on it. Like AT and T, start doing it. AT and T, get on it. Um, yeah. Okay. He'll so talk, he'll I, talk about it on the podcast if you get it to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll recommend. I'll do a side by side. Like this is what Spectrum's numbers used to be, and then this is what AT and T's numbers are. Yeah. Give me. How was your Thanksgiving? It's good. Nice. Good ham. I was like ham. Ham's good. And um. I had some food that Terry gave me, too. She brought me some birria tacos. Nice. It's delicious. Some turkey, some desserts. Yeah, it was all great. Nice. Quite a bit of food. That's yeah, we had, because we ended up doing uh, Thanksgiving at the nursing home, because my grandparents are tired often. Yeah. I think they're both 90. Oh. So, yeah. So, we ended up having, like, the whole family go through, like, the nursing home like buffet style line, whatever. Yeah. And I can under, I can understand, but th- they didn't tell anybody that we'd be paying per person. Like they're, they're paying, I don't know how much, but like they're paying a monthly, I would assume kind of heavy bill to oh, live sure. in a nursing home and extra care and all this and whatever. And you're charging $11 per person for Thanksgiving dinner. That I was still kind of hungry after. Like the food was pretty good. Yeah. But it definitely wasn't a lot of food. I'm like, well, I know they have to recoup some some food costs and shit, whatever, yeah. but I don't know, I figured like five bucks. Well, you shouldn't be still hungry. Yeah. But no, it was it was nice. Visit with grandparents and a bunch of uncles and yeah. aunts and cousins and a bunch of people. I visited with uh friends. Had ham, had, had um, pumpkin pie, of course. Yeah. Lots of whipped cream on the pumpkin pie. I had, mine came with like the the pre uh, the preloaded on half dollop 
No, it's not enough. No, it's not. But it was it was store like for sure store bought store bought pumpkin pie, of like the crust. Uh, my little sister made a joke like, "Do do they know they're supposed to bake the crust before you put the filling in?" Because like the crust was very limp, and definitely had, did not. Yeah, it it was not great. I um I one day was leaving here after doing the podcast and I was at Smith's and I saw a pumpkin pie there. I thought, damn, I could use a pumpkin pie. So I bought one. They're pre-made ones. Mm-hmm. I'm never doing that. Again. Every time I walk into Smith's and I look over, I'm like, nope. Remember what it tastes like last time. Yeah, so the, that's the weird part because the pumpkin chocolate chip cookies at Smith's are fucking amazing. Yeah, those are really good. But that pumpkin pie is something about it. That I don't know what they did, but. It's they use that the pumpkin pie spice instead of doing like actual spices, they use the one ingredient instead of using the eight. Well, it was gross. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't eat much of it. I think the only store bought that I'm okay with is Costco. Costco's pumpkin pies are decent, and they're huge. Yeah, yeah. I I posted a video. The, was that you that posted that of like the restocking and emptying that shelf? Yes. Yeah. Their apple pie is good too, and it's huge too. I don't know if I've had their apple. That's yeah, good. Apple pie's good. Hmm. I had some cherry pie too. I from, do like cherry from pie. Costco. No, but oh. I had some cherry pie that was given to me. Um. So now that it's after Thanksgiving and all the Christmas music is coming out. Yeah. Um. Mariah Carey's "All I Want for Christmas Is You." There's, she didn't have me. There's an article. Uh, about here's how much she makes every year from all I want for Christmas is a you. Lot. She can have me. Uh, a wealth of royalties every year for singer Mariah Carey ever since the song was released in '94. Uh, the Economist did calculations and say she earns about 2.5 million annually from the Christmas hit. Only that one, like not no other royalties for anything else included. Yeah, just that. The New York Post, however, estimates the number is actually closer to three million dollars. Still pretty good either way. Yeah, and that's, uh, Mariah Carey said, the continued love for my song never ceases to amaze me and fill my heart with a multitude of money, I mean emotions. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I can only imagine like you hear that fucking everywhere. And like that that has to make you feel good. Like oh, a yeah. song that you did 25, 30, almost 30 years ago. A long time ago. Is still fucking, uh, it's top the music charts in 25 countries. The video on YouTube has over 750 million views. It was the first holiday single ever to earn the Diamond Award for reaching 10 million sales and streams. Wow. The first holiday single to fucking launch shit. I can tell you that um, I have not contributed to any um, Christmas single hitting any milestones (laughs) of any kind. (laughs) And I'm going to keep that streak going. I'm not a Christmas music person at all. At all, at all? At all. Not even when it's cold outside? Uh, See what I did there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, I just don't like, I don't like Christmas music at all. Well, all right, Scrooge. <laughs> well. <laughs> and like, like, there's there's some that I like, and there's there's some that's like, that's, mm. well, no, I, actually, I think there is one that I kind of like. Mr. Grinch? No, it's you're a, a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Yeah, I'm, I'm a mean one, but no, no. Uh, <laughs> um, Friday after next holidays, Ice Cube. I can't think of the song. Well, watch. I'll, I'll have to look it up. I'm not gonna play it on here, so we don't have fucking copyright yeah, issues. Yeah, but no, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. But it's Ice Cube. So it's not a traditional Christmas song by any means. Well, it's like Die Hard. Die Hard's a Christmas movie. Yes. I just saw a shirt I want to get so bad. It's uh, Ho, 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 Now I Have a Machine Gun. <laughs> yeah, I want that. That was a t-shirt and a sweatshirt. There's so many people, too, that's like, I understand why they think it's not a Christmas movie. But they're like, uh, National Lampoon something. They're like, this is a Thanksgiving movie because they had a Thanksgiving meal. I'm like, I mean... It could be, but nobody really classifies movies as Thanksgiving movies. Well, um, Christmas is brought up quite a bit in Die Hard, 
Yeah. And he is flying. And it's a Christmas party. It's That's Christmas the party. reason that everybody is there. But also, he he flying from L.A. to L.A. from New York to spend Christmas with his family. Yeah. See now, when uh, that kid from from Home Improvement has a movie where he's fighting to get home, he's not fighting terrorists, but he's trying to get through. I don't. I've never actually seen the movie. What? There's a movie with uh, somebody from Home Improvement. He's He's um, home for Christmas, I think is what it's called. I've, and he, I don't think I've heard it's, of it's, it's, it's kind of like a planes, trains, and automobiles type thing where uh, he's, he's having a struggle to get home. Got it. And that's considered a Christmas movie. Well, John McClane has a struggle to be able to get out of there and spend time with his family for Christmas. Yeah. It's just his involved ter- um, people robbing the Nakatomi building and him having to kill people. Yeah. So him having to kill people, I guess, makes it not Christmas. If, Think about how many that's people... where they draw the line. I mean, that's that's just stupid. Like, uh, what about Violent Night? Is that a Christmas movie? No, definitely not. But he's dressed as Santa Claus. That was a, good, Claus. Movie. That was a and, good movie. And it's Christmas related. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's for sure a Christmas movie. Yeah. But there was some violence. Yeah. But, uh, what is it? Bad Santa? That was hilarious. There was definitely violence. Yeah. Bad Santa, the first one was good. The sequel wasn't as good. I don't know if I saw the second one. No, it's, it's not very good. But, yeah. So it's it's a matter of what's a Christmas movie and what's not. Yeah. Um, There's only even a few Christmas movies I even like. Home Alone? No. Um, you don't like Home Alone? I was going to say Elf. Oh, Elf's uh, fucking Friday great. After Next. Um, Die Hard. Die Hard 2. You don't like Home Alone? Uh, it's all right. I haven't watched it in years. I'm, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> I mean, the, only the first two, not like the 18 other ones that they No, I know. That's the other two I've seen. Okay. I'm just, I, it's not something I look for to watch. But like Die Hard, I'll, I'll be in the mood to watch Die Hard. Uh-huh. Elf, I just watched recently. Yeah, Elf's, Elf's for sure a yearly thing. But I mean, so is like on the 5th of November, you watch V for Vendetta. On... I've never actually watched Beefer's Vendetta. So... Really? Yeah. What the fuck? I think but, it's on Max. But um, watch it. Well, I have to wait next till next year. You just said you watched on November fifth. Yeah. So. Uh, but it's like St. Patty's Day. You watch the Boondocks or uh, Boondock Saints. No. Yeah. <laughs> St. Patty's Day. You watch the Boondock Saints. No, St. Patty's Day. You drink green beer. Yeah, while you're watching Boondock Saints. <laughs> 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 and then. Like, I haven't seen a Christmas story in a really long time. Like, that used to be, like, the movie. I thought on St. Paddy's Day you'd go see Dropkick Murphys. Not a movie. Well, I'm sure they have a DVD. (laughs) (laughs) I saw, I think, Flogging Molly when I lived in Phoenix on St. Paddy's Day. That was a really good show. I want to know, what did Molly do? Got flogged. (laughs) It's not a pleasant thing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I do I do want to mention this before I forget about it. I saw a license on the way here. And it was W O K two four seven. Woke twenty four seven? Well, I don't know. Maybe they like Chinese food because Walk twenty four seven? Because if you go to a place with a walk, that's how they spell it. Do did they have like Eight stickers on the back window. No stickers. No stickers at all. No. I'm leaning towards the Chinese one now. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> if somebody's going to get the woke 24-7 license plate, they're going to have like fucking every. You would think. Every yeah. kind of sticker possible to let people know that they're fucking woke. And like, oh, I support all of these. Yeah. Justice for. Justice for pit bulls. Somebody treated a Chihuahua bad once and have a sticker on it. Oh, no, I, I'll have that sticker too. I'm not woke, but <laughs> don't be mistreating Chihuahuas. Chihuahuas are great dogs. I'm glad one of us thinks so. <laughs> That's a fucking rat. It is not a rat. It's it is a, a dog. Rat. And they are loyal to their to their person. It's a rat. Rats are loyal too. I don't like rats. That's not what I just heard. <laughs> I love Chihuahuas. <laughs> My Chihuahua, you see, both of them are great. I loved them so much. 
I miss them. Well, so when people badmouth Chihuahuas, it irritates. Glad me. you had a good experience with Chihuahuas. I've, I did. I haven't known any good ones. Well, like what my one, she um, it took a while for for her to warm up to people, and if you weren't me for the most part, yeah, you know, she screw you. Basically, is what yeah. she said. Yeah, like I said, she's loyal to the Chihuahuas. Pick their favorite. They're a one person dog, and I was her person. If I'd leave, she'd go hang out with somebody else in the house. But as long as I was there, she would not. And uh, like I, I, I remember I'd walk back in, and she'd be on her way down the hall to my roommate's bedroom because she liked to sit on the couch there because the sun came through. Mm-hmm. And I walked back in, and she had this look like, this is awkward. <laughs> Caught she, me sitting in with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> like, she'd go into another room and sit, sit at the doorway. She would not go to the person in the room. She would just sit there, just lay down on that carpet, looking towards the garage door <laughs> until like I came home. And like on 4th of July, if there was people lighting on fireworks and I wasn't home yet, both chihuahuas would be freaking out. But as soon as I got home, they'd be on the couch with me, quiet, not, not paying attention, didn't care anymore. Huh. That's interesting. I call, I was a calming influence on them. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> But like, if I'd play like PlayStation, Xbox, whatever game I was playing, um, the one Chihuahua did not like me paying attention to that instead of her. So she'd climb up on my chest and just sit there and look at my face. So I'd set the, I'd pause the game, set the controller down, pet her for a while, and then she'd just lay down and fall asleep. And I'd pick up the controller and keep playing. <laughs> That's great. Nice. But the one, one I could throw a little tennis ball to her, like. They weren't really tennis balls. I wouldn't actually play tennis with these, but they were little dog toys. I was going to say, you, a like little tennis, balls. tennis ball. Like, so how, like a chihuahua tennis ball, is it like? It's small. A little bit bigger. It can be about. Like a ping pong ball? Uh, yeah. Okay. One of them, I'd throw the ball. She'd chase it. She'd bring it back. Just throw a full size it. at it and just knock the fucking dog out. <laughs> <laughs> she would try to get, she actually came up to me with a full size tennis ball once. Because there was one for the, for a dog that we used to have. Okay. But, um. But the other dog, I'd throw the tennis, and she'd be like, what the fuck am I going to do with that? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, just sit down here next to me. Yeah. <laughs> Pet me. Don't fucking throw a ball at me. <laughs> yeah. What do you got for notes? I just ran through almost all of mine. Um, I've got a few here. Uh, are you familiar with Eddie Hall? That sounds familiar. He's uh, one of the world's strongest men. Yeah. Apparently, he just, uh, he just uh, broke a record. Deadlifted, what was it? One thousand one hundred two point three three pounds, five hundred kilograms. Oh, okay. I was like, why is it such a weird? F- okay, I get it. Five hundred kilograms. Yeah, that's a lot. That is a lot. He lifted up and he hold it, held it for a while. Yeah, it took a lot out of him. Like he was on the ground and they were seeing to him to, because it, it takes a lot of energy to lift that kind yeah. of weight. That's I love watching his videos. Like he'll go into Planet Fitness, and like, okay, well, let's see, do a warm up, and do like halfway down the stack of weights, and then like just do the entire fucking stack of weights after yeah. like do one, two, yeah, this isn't enough. Do the full stack, and then like sometimes he'll like grab inside the machine and like start doing calf raises, lifting the whole fucking machine up. Yeah, yeah, I love watching his videos. Oh, he's got some funny shit. Yeah. Now, he also uh, has been on um, Kentucky Ballistics, shooting some very large yeah. firearms. Yeah, um, like some of the ones with the most kick. I think he shot the, the Tyrannosaurus. There's like 21 of those in the country, <laughs> in the world. The Tyrannosaurus, it's not the one from Jurassic Park. Yeah, This is a Tyrannosaurus. It, like, I've seen a video where a guy tried to shoot it. He didn't have it on his shoulder quite well, and it blew off back <laughs> <laughs> and it broke like because he was shooting indoors yeah it broke the glass behind uh, I, th- him. I think you sent me that video yeah and then um but that's uh, kentucky ballistics has two tyrannosaurus guns wow and there's only 21 of them in the world <laughs> me i'd be happy to have one i don't need two but i don't think i actually want to shoot one of those why i don't know i i just i see the world's strongest man shoot it and i see what it does to his shoulder and I think about my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think my shoulder would hold up. Put a pillow there. 
<laughs> You'll be fine. Uh, but I would not shoot a punt gun. Yeah. Those are two. Those are over two hundred pounds just to hold the fucking gun. <laughs> yeah, he put it on a sled on there. But I also have. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, um, have you seen things on TikTok where people I, try I've to seen uh, things on TikTok? Well, people try to send messages and try to catfish people. And what I like to do is screw with people who like to catfish people. I've been getting messages from people. I'm confused. What? People like to send messages. Oh, hi. Thanks for following me. Um, where are you from? Oh, oh just like super me scammy. Me too. Yeah, just super scammy stuff. And all of them send like the same fucking messages. Yeah. Oh, what are you looking for on here? Videos. And if I'm not in the mood, I'm like, um, what do you mean? <laughs> on TikTok? What yeah. am I doing on TikTok? I'm looking for videos. Yeah, it's... Have, have you seen TikTok? It's social media. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, every so often I'll get these follows, and you go and you look, and you're like, oh. User 1957342. No, they'll two. have names, and you look at it, and you'll be like, oh, wow, this incredibly hot girl is following me now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and now she wants to talk to me. And then you message her, thanks for the follow. <laughs> <laughs> you should try that. Oh, thanks for the follow. Yeah, just do it to them before they and I, get like, the chance to do it to you. On, on the recent one I'm getting, messages from i don't have anything on there nothing no pictures no nothing yeah and i get a message today saying hi handsome <laughs> well thanks for the compliment but how the fuck do you know anybody who's named mike is handsome um i'd like to say that's true but i've seen some mics <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i i i, I message a few of them and it doesn't didn't one of them didn't take her long to uh start asking for a an apple card yeah yeah but she sent a she sent a picture in a uh, see through bra <laughs> so that was, uh, that one I talked to a little bit longer <laughs> did you reverse google image search it no i didn't <laughs> but i just thought it was funny then uh somebody else was asking me some questions and She's hot too, of course, but I follow them because they're hot. I don't, I don't really care if I talk to the people. <laughs> I also follow people who are funny. Doesn't yeah. mean I want to go on and talk to, tell jokes to them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, oh, thanks for following uh, my joke channel. Uh, tell where, me a joke. Where are you from? Tell me, tell me a joke. <laughs> Your joke channel. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that reminds me. Somebody at work one day was telling me because we, we were talking about when we started the podcast. That's what I like, thought of as soon as I said it. He's like, uh, "Oh, let me know. I got some jokes for you." Uh, and then he's like, "I watch TikTok." Yeah. Um. Yeah. So do I. There's a zero percent chance. I'll put it up to like a three percent chance. There's a three percent chance that we will recycle jokes that we find on fucking TikTok on here. Maybe if something happens with a joke on TikTok, we'll discuss it. But I don't see myself stealing a joke from TikTok yeah, no. on here. Because usually, mean, usually even, things that we say that are to be funny come spur of the moment. It's yeah. not something planned. Well, even like a lot of the dad joke stuff of like, they. that's why it took me so long to figure out like the different dad joke stuff when we did it is because I wanted to go through like a lot of different ones. And it's not the same fucking eight that you hear everybody say when they're telling dad jokes. Yeah. That was way harder than I thought it would be. I thought we found some good ones. Yeah, I thought so too. But yeah, it was way harder than I thought yeah, it would I be looked of, for of a lot. finding I in, good ones. I looked in a few locations. I didn't just go to one website. Yeah, I had go. like fucking eight or ten different websites. But I do have a question about pizza. I it's, know you're familiar with pizza. Yeah, it's circular in a square box. Yeah, well, I, I've also had it in a uh, square rectangle and a circular box, box. Rectangle box, and the pizza was rectangular. But... um. And a triangle box. Yeah. Anyway, but, but the thing I've noticed is that people lately, when having stuffed crust pizzas, they are measuring the cheese in length. Like um, Little Caesars. Oh, like it's 20 feet of cheese yeah. or whatever? Five feet, two and a half feet, whatever. I bought a, a frozen pizza recently. Uh -huh. Stuffed crust. Two and a half feet of cheese. That doesn't tell me anything. That's not a unit of measurement for cheese. 
Yeah, because I mean, you could have it. You could, could have very thin cheese and lay it out long. Yeah, so you could have like take a a string cheese. Yeah, and like that would be about the size I think that like Domino's or Little Caesars would have in their crust, if not a little more. Yeah, but like a a frozen a frozen pizza like at Walmart or something. I'm thinking that you start peeling off that string cheese. And you lay it, and you yeah, you, know, you lay it out, and, and it's it's two and a half feet of fucking shoestring. Yeah, that's like that. That's not a good measurement. I mean, but it the is the crust. The crust had cheese flavoring. Thanks. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but it 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 is um, it is DiGiorno, not delivery. Oh, okay, so it's it's pretty good pizza. But, yeah, but still, you know, was there a lot of cheese in the crust? Yeah. Oh, okay, but um, still. Measure it in weight, because you know if I see it says sixteen ounces of cheese, I know that's a pound. Now, of course, if they say they're not going to say sixteen ounces, they're going to say a pound if they're going to measure yeah. it that way, because a pound sounds like more, even though it's yeah. the same half pound instead of eight ounces. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's a whole thing. I I I, put, I bought at the grocery store near my apartment. I bought a half a pound of chicken tenders, and uh, ended up being three chicken tenders. <laughs> But I, I just wanted something quick to eat before I had left to go to mm. work. And I didn't want to sit in my car eating a pound of chicken tender, so I just bought a half pound. Yeah. I just needed something to for that moment. That's I had And they weren't very good. So I'm not gonna buy them there again. <laughs> I don't know how you screw up chicken tenders. Fairly easily. The last yeah. several times I've gone to like Buffalo Wild Wings or fucking anywhere, like they, they fuck up. Did you actually have chicken tenders at Buffalo Wild Wings, or did you have boneless wings? It's a chicken tender. I know. <laughs> I just, I hate Buffalo Wild Wings. Like half the time, it's it's not even warm by the time it gets to your fucking table, and the sauce is like it's obviously added afterwards, but when like I, it's not even. I don't know. When I worked at Buffalo Wild Wings, um, me and the bartender used to split a sampler. But we those were all fried foods. Mm-hmm. We didn't have any wings in it, but we had the buffalo chips. We had mozzarella sticks. I can't remember everything, but and we got the. I know you're gonna love it. Um, we got the buffalo chips with the uh, salt vinegar. That's, I know how much you love salt yeah. vinegar. Throw it right in the fucking trash. <laughs> we loved it. I, I she's the whole reason I started eating salt vinegar. But what an awful influence! She's fucking horrible. <laughs> she should be ashamed. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> But yeah, the, the, my, I love mozzarella sticks. No, mozzarella sticks are great. Um, I work Ranch in, or marinara? Marinara. I do half. I don't really do ranch on anything. I do half and half. Because also, like, I like the... But I also eat them plain. I like the cold and hot thing. I think we've talked about this. I don't know if... I know I've told you before. I don't know if it's been on here. Of, like, the... A lot of times when you get marinara somewhere, it's yeah. fucking hot. I don't want hot marinara. I want cold marinara to dip my fucking hot item into. You can ask them for it. They usually have it in a cool- cooler. No, I didn't know that because they just always here you go. But I like the uh, the contrast. That's fucking great. I mean, because they usually fill those little serving cups mm-hmm. from something that they get out of the cooler. So they, and a lot of times they'll they can just go back there and fill your little ramekin and yeah, well, throw I'll it at have you. To fucking try that. Yeah, I mean they should yeah, like. When I reheat spaghetti, like I'll nuke the shit out of the noodles so that they're stupid, stupid fucking hot, and then I'll put cold sauce on it see, because I, I like the contrast. See, I uh, I like my sauce and my pasta to be hot. I mean, I know it's not a common a common thing that you want like that much hot and that much cold yeah. together. So, but then again, there is um, hot put Sundays. Yeah. Which, I mean, um, it's a funny thing, uh, this shirt that I'm wearing from Disneyland today, Yeah. the whole reason I bought it the day I did is that I, I had, I had gone to Ghirardelli and I got myself a, an amazing hot fudge sundae. First of all, this thing was incredible. This ice cream was creamy. It was, but the, it was icy. It was, it was, I mean, it, this was not, the texture of it was different from, from ice cream I've had from other places. It was a soft serve, but this was incredible. Mm. And then it had the topping was. A uh, dark chocolate fudge with salted caramel. Well, 
we were walking and eating, and I, I kept walking and eating. And after I finished, I looked down. Caramel was all over the front of my shirt. <laughs> so I was like, I'm not walking around all day with this shit on my shirt. Just smelling it nonstop. We were at California Adventure when this happened, actually. And, oh, there you go. Just take two of the water rides, and you're good. They only have one. Oh, well, do it twice. <laughs> I got soaked the one time we did that ride. Soaked. <laughs> but, um... So, I was looking everywhere to get a shirt, cause I, and I ended up buying this one because I was not going to walk around with caramel yeah. on my chest all day because it was early <laughs> in the day that it happened. But I'm telling you, that was a great Sunday. Normally, I don't see them have dark chocolate, so I was really excited. Mm -hmm. And then when I, oh, God. I remember I finished mine. One of the other people I was with, and they're like, oh, did you finish your Sunday? Like, yeah, that's what you do when you buy a Sunday. You finish it. Yeah. They didn't like it, so they threw it away. I don't have to ask who that is. It was a stupid, expensive Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. So in Oklahoma, they have a restaurant called Brahms. Yeah. And they have lots of ice cream options and frozen yogurt and also burgers and a couple other things. Really, really good food. And so I went with my dad and little sister. And they're like, okay, well, they got the, the double dip ice cream or whatever. It's like two scoops. And they, I'll get this one. I'll get this one. Okay, well, I did it based off the price of like a large frozen yogurt and a cone. It's only like two bucks. So, I'm like, okay, I'll get that one because it can't be that fucking big. Bro, I didn't eat it. I didn't eat the whole thing. It was fucking enormous. I'm like holding the cone, the cone is probably this fucking big, like a foot tall. And then the entire, like at the opening of the cone, probably about. What is that, like three or four inches across? Yeah. Just fucking filled with chocolate, vanilla, swirled, frozen yogurt. Like, it was delicious, but yeah. holy shit. Like, that is the cheapest I have ever seen frozen yogurt or ice cream at a place where you go to get it. Like, that same thing would have probably been like 9 or $10 at Baskin Robbins. I'm like, that's fucking... So, the last day... <clears throat> before my little sister flew back to Vegas or Seattle. Um, she went and she comes back. And I'm like, is that the small? And she's like, yeah, because they only have a small and a large. Like yeah. that's no, they have a fucking large and an extra large. Damn. Like the small was fucking huge. Like she ate half of it. Then me and my dad split the other half. I'm like, that is an insane amount of frozen yogurt. Damn. So if you ever go through the Midwest and there's a Brahms, stop at Brahms and get some food and some ice cream. It's fucking delicious. I never saw one in Nebraska. <clears throat> but the place I wish was out here, I wish we had a Culver's out here. Ah, oh, Culver's is so good. God, that was good. So good. I had the pot roast sandwich. It was fucking amazing. I think I've done that one. I think I've had like two or three of the burgers, and I always get the extra I large cheese curds. I only ate there the one time. I did get cheese curds. Oh, they're so fucking good. But like, I remember. And then you get the, the peanut butter concrete. I remember. I don't remember. I think I probably got a peanut butter. No one made. But, uh, <laughs> but no, I remember my dad had coupons. And he's like, no, get this. Wait, no, I'm going to have the pot roast sandwich. I'm yeah. like, I can get a burger anywhere. Yeah. I've never had a pot roast sandwich, so I'm getting that. And he was, because he wanted to get me to get the sandwich. And then he could get my brother a burger. I'm like, well, you can get a burger for your two burgers for him. I, I, I wouldn't get one, <laughs> but I'm getting myself a pot roast sandwich. Yeah, I should have probably gotten a burger and a pot roast sandwich. I guess I don't know. Oh, the burgers are really fucking good. But the pot roast sandwich was great, and of course the cheese curds, curds were good. And then, uh, yeah, the concrete was good. I used to go to in Vegas. I used to go to Freddy's and get there. Freddy's is good. I, there was a couple different ones. I, I like used Freddy's. To get there. Uh, there was one that had macadamia nuts in it that I really liked. There was a peanut butter one there too. I used to like a lot too. I think I'm all, I've almost always done either like peanut butter chocolate or peanut butter chocolate banana, like some combination of. Yeah, I've done the peanut butter chocolate banana. It's fucking good. Yeah, but I did one. Steak it was a Hawaiian shake. type thing, so that's what it had the macadamia nuts. Mm. I've only been to Steak and Shake once. That's pretty good. That's... I, I was at the one at the, the uh, South Point, mm. and it was packed. I really like the fries are okay, but I really don't like that style of fries. The shoestring? Yeah, because unless, no you, unless you inhale them 
within like 2.8 seconds of getting them yeah they're fucking frozen they're ab- like zero heat left in them because they're so fucking tiny yeah i stopped getting um from freddy's i stopped eating uh their fries because they have the shoestring ones i started just having the fried pickles or the onion rings i, I love know. the fried pickles i don't know if i knew those were options um yeah they I remember when they when they got the fried pickles, I got an email, and I'm like, I'm going there after work tonight. We're definitely gonna have to. Well, like between these two episodes, I need a, I need a sandwich. We're talking about food too much. I'll probably have one of these. <laughs> I didn't know if you'd want to try one of these uh, on the episode because you're not a sugar eater anymore. I mean, you're eating healthy. Yeah. Would you like to try one? Sure. All right. So I do want to mention I was uh I was listening to another podcast. I was telling somebody about it at work so she could try it. And uh, I was like, it's a good podcast. I mean, not as good as ours, but it's good. <laughs> <laughs> but they talked about, um, like in the description, it said Robbie Mannheim. And I'm like, wait, I know that name. What is that from? And then I realized he is the one that the movie, the, the, the Exorcist is based on. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's not his real name, but that's what they call him because they, they save his name to protect the, you know. His yeah. identity, but yeah, he got his exorcism, multiple exorcism has happened in uh, St. Louis. I didn't know that. Robbie Man on. Uh, it was bugging me when I heard it. I was like, I know, I know that name. Why do I know that from? You trying to? I don't know why it's not bringing up the page that I had up earlier. I do have another note that I thought was interesting. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to read the, the entire article. But it says um, NASA successfully sent a message 10 million miles in 50 seconds. Wow. They used a laser or some sort to send this message. That's, uh, that's impressive to get uh, that sent that quickly. Yeah. I'll try the so that's it just has caramel in it, and that's the only difference. And they're fucking big. <laughs> it's a big cup. I taste the caramel a lot. Mm-hmm. Probably. I like that they put it at the bottom so it doesn't fucking stick to the roof of your mouth. In the picture, they got it on the top and bottom, but they need to do. I need one with a, with banana in it. That would be good. I feel like it would be hard to keep fresh. They had a limited edition one a long time ago. It was an Elvis one, and they had some kind of banana thing in it. Huh. Well, I like those. What I need to do is buy some bananas and slice it, put it on top, and just eat the big cup. And just have your own... Banana, banana split, but instead of ice cream, have uh, Reese's cups. So, <clears throat> uh, we started doing, we started uploading the, uh, the shorts and the reels and clips and whatever. This whole, was it this, this whole past week? Yeah. I don't remember what day I started on. See if this will tell me. November twentieth. It's been about a week, so it's the twenty seventh now. Yeah, so it's been exactly a week, and uh, we have eight thousand views on all the across all videos. So that's that's seven thousand nine hundred ninety three views in the last twenty eight days, and then it has a little thing below it is like seven point nine thousand more than usual, which I thought was hilarious. <laughs> um, and it, we're up to. We're up 44 more watch hours than we have been and nine new subscribers in a month. So that, I like it. It's working well. So we're going to keep doing all that. Monetize. It's coming soon. <laughs> um, but we need to keep doing all the, all of that with that, uh, video editing site. Because we have, I think, like four or five days left. And if any companies out there, 
um, Dr. Pepper or other companies would like to send us gadgets or electronics that they would like us to talk about and use on the show, yeah, go ahead and send Dr. us Dr. Pepper is going to send us gadgets. Well, they can send us Dr. <laughs> Pepper and other people can send us gadgets. I'm just saying I'm willing to accept uh, a new PlayStation controller. Yeah. New Xbox controller. <laughs> I've already got the Elite 2. If you have a third one coming out, send it. Yeah. I used to do... Um... We can talk about this on next episode too, a little more. But I used to help run a tech review website, like a video game and tech review website. So a lot of that was like, you reach out to whoever. Like I found this this dope like Bluetooth, put it over your ear, and like you can use it as a Bluetooth headset, yeah. but it also has a camera on it, so you see like almost point of view. And this was back in two thousand nine, two thousand ten. Nice. And like, it had pretty fucking good quality. So like, I messaged them and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm I'm Jeremy from, I don't remember. It's the website's not up anymore. I'm Jeremy from this website, and like, this is what we do, and I want to review it. Like, would you be able to send me one? Yeah. And like, a lot of companies like they'll send you stuff for that. Like, they'll check out the website oh, and like, yeah. see how much like you can check out like the traffic numbers or whatever this and that. And they'll just send it, like give you shit. Like here you go, you can keep it. So this one, they were like, because it was still like newer, newer tech. They're like, we'll send you one, but we need to ha- we need to get it back within a month, yeah, or like two weeks or some shit. I'm like, okay, like that's that's fine. Like I'm I'm just really interested, in, like want to review it because that would be a perfect like working on cars and like you have something right there. Um, it was dope. I really think they should have fucking cleaned it first because yeah. it had like the earbud portion and and it came with free earwax oh all right yeah so, so i said so your mind for it did you get uh, it? i just fuck like q-tip and toothpick and like cleaned it out and then fucking like rubbing alcohol and, yeah i was gonna say uh I don't rubbing alcohol jesus christ more. like why why would you not like you look, put a new tip on it you'd think yeah i'm like why you're sending this to fucking somebody I'm like one what kind of gross piece of shit didn't even look at it when he put it back in the box to ship it back? Yeah, I probably would clean it before I sent it back. I'm guessing you cleaned it before you sent it back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, that's, it was a lot. Like, I'm, I'd be surprised if you could hear anything with how You probably gave it a bad review. It like, I can't hear nothing. Yeah. This is... <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, speaking of reviews, though, I do want to mention, like, I have not um, received anything from Nintendo, but. I have given many reviews to uh, Tears of the Kingdom, Zelda. Tears yeah. Of the Kingdom, yeah. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, it was, I think it ended up being a lot less video game reviews. Like, we would still do that because that would get a lot of traffic. And then the the tech ones would be what we would, like, go out to find. Because we weren't getting video games for free. Like, we would, we would play them because we wanted to play them. And then, yeah. like, okay, review it. And then do articles on like the different pieces of tech or like new style keyboard or new this or new that. So PlayStation has a, uh, a new controller out though that I, I, I want to try out, but it's expensive. Sure. It is like 215. Jesus. Yeah. The elite controllers are like 150. I, I've got an elite controller. I know. Yeah. I got it. I got mine. Well, on leave, like... it to, leave it to Sony. Update their prices before you update the system. But um, no, um, I think the the Elite Two is up to around two hundred. But I got mine on like uh, Prime Days or Black Friday or some shit. That's I normally don't do a lot of Black Friday shopping anymore. Yeah, I was Cyber Monday. I was tempted to get an eighty-six inch LG TV at Costco because it was yeah. nine hundred dollars. I'm like, well. The TV that I have still fucking works, so I think I'm going to hold off for now. Speaking of Black I did buy something on Black Friday, though. And um, I, I, I buy this on my own. We are not advertising them, but um, Liquid IV. That, uh, it was cheaper than usual, and it came with a pre-glass bottle. So I bought some of that. Nice. And as you know, I like, I like yeah. Liquid IV quite a bit. And it'll be here Friday, so I still have some left. So I won't run out between now and when it gets here. <laughs> so we're good. Because I really only drink it at work. I don't drink it at home. Yeah. yeah. Huh. 
Yeah. Well, tell. Uh, I got a couple things, not because it was Black Friday, but it was a oh well, definitely going to get them now. I wasn't shopping for them, but well, I was going to get like what I be anyway. Yeah. But then I got the email and it's like, oh, we got this price, and you get a free glass bottle. Nice. I figured, yeah. why not? Um, the only thing is, if I would have gone on Amazon, it would have already been delivered. Yeah. Okay. Who cares? <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's good for this episode, and then we'll uh, take a sandwich break, and then come back and record. Yes. Next, next one. Um, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at some offense intended, and I just changed the TikTok. Right. And that's what I changed. Yeah. So TikTok and Twitter X are now the same at some offense pod, I think. Right. Yeah. That sounds about right. Some yeah. offense pod. Um, if you start typing some offense though, with no space on TikTok, it's going to pop up. Does it? Yeah. Is it not just cause you've searched it before? I, I, last week I searched it. Okay. When we were here. Oh, huh. all right. Well, just search it. Uh, YouTube is. At some offense intended, just search, Google it, do whatever. Uh, give us a like, follow, share, tell people. And uh, we'll, we should remember to do that in the beginning. Yes. Of next episode. I know. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I appreciate everybody. And uh, I'm excited that it's starting to grow a lot more with us sharing videos and stuff. So catch you next time. Goodbye.